a dip in the pool for Frenchies astronaut Thomas Pesquet. It's his last training session in NASA's Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory, a huge pool housing replicas of the International Space Station's modules. Working in this facility is as close as you can get to zero gravity conditions without leaving Earth. Two days earlier at the Johnson Space Center, Thomas and his crewmate, NASA's Peggy Whitson, took one of many classes preparing them for their upcoming mission to the International Space Station. They'll need to know how to use specialized tools in a harsh environment outside the ISS and be familiar with a variety of maintenance and repair tasks, such as changing antennae and installing shields. Like all their training, it'll ensure that they can deal with any scenario which may occur during the six months they'll spend in orbit. We're just so prepared. All the emergencies, all the possible failures, we train them over and over and over again. So we, we're supposed to be able to handle any situation. We sat in the simulator hundreds of hours. Uh, we know the systems inside out. So there's nothing really that we fear, I think, on the technical side. At 38 years old, Thomas Pesquet is the youngest of ESA's class of 2009 astronauts and the last to fly. After seven years of training, he's finally about to put theory into practice as his long-held dreams of traveling to space become a reality. But a long-duration stay in orbit will come with many challenges and a packed schedule of scientific tasks. One six months increment for the whole crew is around 300 experiments, uh, out of which there's 55, 60 for, uh, for ESA. So there's a wide array of, uh, of domains like medicine, technology, material science, fluid science, everything you can think of. So we're going to be very, very busy and I hope we have a lot of results to show when we come back. As Toma prepares for his first mission, a veteran ESA astronaut is getting ready to revisit the ISS. Paolo Nespoli from Italy is looking forward to making his third voyage into orbit next spring, shortly after Toma returns. I'm reaching the end of my career and I'm being able to, to do a last flight and really, again, put at work for myself, but also for everybody else, all the knowledge and know-how that I've acquired during this year. I really look forward to be again an extraterrestrial person and uh, do special and special things in space. The upcoming missions will be ESA's ninth and tenth long-duration stays on board the ISS. Europe now has an almost permanent presence in orbit, enriching its knowledge of working in zero gravity and space exploration. For Thomas Pesquet, it's the final chance to practice working in microgravity before the pool in Houston is replaced by the void surrounding our planet. Oh my